look, uh, Dorsey said, you know, Meta had the wrong approach from the very beginning, but he's really doubling down here. What do you make of that? Well, uh, first of all, he'd probably think that everybody should be spending more time on Bitcoin, not just Meta. So I think this is a criticism he could have lobbed to anybody. But, you know, you really think of, of what Jack Dorsey believes uh, is the future of crypto. I, he believes in this decentralized Bitcoin, right? This idea that, that crypto is not owned by anybody. It's not controlled by anybody. I mean, Emily, you and I were talking about this, uh, I believe, just last week about why he's taking on venture capitalists who are investing in Web3 and other technologies like that. He, he sees that as ownership over something that shouldn't be owned by anybody. And so I think his biggest issue with, uh, you know, what was Libra has morphed into DM was that it felt like it was a Facebook product that benefited Facebook uh, and not the Internet as a whole. And to him, that is not what cryptocurrency is all about. And as a result, you know, he was pretty vocally critical of the project along the way. Interestingly, we also got some tweets from David Marcus, who used to run DM at Facebook slash Meta, really throwing his support behind Bitcoin as well. It's become clear to me that Bitcoin will be the one asset in L1 still around in 20 plus, plus years. It's truly leaderless, censorship resistant, has much greater network effects. Uh, you know, what do you make of that, given that Marcus was, you know, for a really long time, one of Zuck's biggest supporters? Yeah, I noticed that tweet too, and it did. It also caught my eye for a lot of the same reasons. Um, I'm sure you noticed that Emily. It's just it's interesting to see him commenting, kind of in in what seems to align with what Jack Dorsey is saying, right? Uh, on the same day, uh, we have seen David Marcus also tweet about kind of Web three and the community around it, and and how inspiring he finds it. And so it does feel like since he has left Facebook, maybe he's kind of uh, branching out a little bit, right? It was clear that when he launched Libra at Facebook. He wanted to achieve a lot of the things that um, that maybe he feels that he can now do when he's no longer at the company. And so I, I, I did find that interesting. Um, it doesn't mean that you can't believe, you know, in Bitcoin and something else. That's kind of Jack Dorsey's mindset. It's, it's a one or nothing kind of thing. But most people, you know, they, they believe in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Right. And that's OK. Um, so I imagine David Marcus might fall somewhere on that spectrum. But um, it has been interesting to see his commentary. Uh, now that he's no longer inside of Facebook. And why does Dorsey think Bitcoin is so much better than all of the other cryptocurrencies, quickly? Uh, goes back to the control thing. You know, I think he believes that Bitcoin is, is truly decentralized. It's not owned or controlled by anybody. Um, and it is the only cryptocurrency that really can do that at scale. And, and for him, I think that's the most important thing about all of this.